Hi guys and welcome back to another video and if you're new here welcome. Today I'm going to be coming at you with my summer favourites. I just thought this would be a good opportunity to show you all the things that I've been using throughout the summer when we are starting to come into the colder months of September. So let's get on with that video. A lot of my newfound favourites from the summer months are cosmetics so I've got a handful of things that aren't so I thought I'd start off with those and just get those out of the way. The first one is one I've already showed you, it was in my what's in my bag video which is this tangle teaser. I don't think it is a branded tangle teaser, I think it is by Tony and Guy as far as I know but with my exten uh, extensions it has longer and shorter bristles which just works perfectly with my hair, they're very flexible. And in this heat, I've been putting my hair up a lot, so this has been a lifesaver for me because it's small enough to fit in my handbag when I'm off to work or just off out for the day. So that is my first favourite of the summer. The next one is one that I actually wore on my anniversary day out, which is this little white top with sort of lacy, sparkly appliques at the front. It's more of sort of a, I wouldn't say high neck v-neck, but it definitely is not a very booby top which is what I was concerned about. I did actually find this at the charity shop, but it was originally from Dorothy Perkins, which I thought was a great steal, and it looks super, super cute with denim shorts as well as a pair of jeans as well. So that's why it's made it into my summer favorites. The other clothing item that I have fallen in love with over the, <laughs> the summer months have been nightgowns or nighties, night dresses, whatever you'd like to call them. It may make me sound about 80 years old, I used to wear vests and short shorts to bed, but ever since I discovered a nighty, little old Beth hasn't looked back. So my favourite one was one that I have recently picked up from Primark, and it is just this, get the tags out of the way, this long sleeve pink sort of blush colour with lighter pink piping. On the pocket it says, oh Sunday. I don't just wear this on Sundays, but I wear it every day because who doesn't like sp spending all day in bed thinking it is a Sunday? The reason I love these nighties so much is because they are a super, super soft material known from Primark. And as much as they're super soft, they're super thin, so they're really breathable in these summer months. We have the boiler in our room, so anything to keep me cooler when I'm asleep is the way forward, and these nighties have just been an absolute lifesaver. So. I have got quite a few of these in my pyjama drawer now. I feel like an 80 year old but I feel no shame because they are so comfy. So yeah, that is my other clothing item that has made it into my summer favourites. The next non-clothing item I would have to say is this water bottle. I know it's quite strange for a water bottle to be in somebody's favourites but this is actually from Wilco. I think it was... It's four or five pounds, it was Wilco so it's quite cheap, but it's in this lovely matte blue colour and then has a metal top lid. It's completely made out of metal, which means all of the hot drinks that I want to keep in here over the autumn will be kept hot. But the most important thing is, when I put ice cold drinks in here, they stay cold for hours and they do not condensate on the outside of the bottle, which I love. It's been my go-to water bottle every time I leave the house. It keeps my drinks cold. It doesn't make anything else in my bag wet from condensation. And it actually holds, I think, 550 mil as far as I remember. But yeah, for just a, such a cheap price from Wilco, it has become one of my new favorites. So I definitely recommend if you have a Wilco near you to go and pick one of these up just for the pure benefits of it that you can put hot drinks in it as well. So it will last you all year round. So that is that one. A next new love of mine that used to be a love of mine when I was about 13, 14 are fairy lights. Primark had these on sale for a pound the other day so I picked up another three or four boxes of them because I'm going to start changing up my background in future videos hopefully. Um, and yeah, I have fairy lights and all sorts of other lights in my room that I have just late in the evening if I want to read or just want to sit in slightly more dimmed light than my big ceiling light and yeah I just they've been my summer favorites again <laughs> that's why they're in this video obviously but yeah watch out for these in my backdrop very soon and the last non-cosmetic item has got to be my planner 
This has not got days on it, which I absolutely love. It's a, I'm assuming, faux leather. I got it from Sainsbury's and it just said agenda on the front. The reason I love this book so much is because you can choose what date you put in the corner, then it has a little column down the side saying things to do, and then at the bottom, scribbles, because I'm a bit of a doodler, and then you have all this blank space to write whatever you want. This is actually my YouTube planner, so whenever I have an idea for a video, or if I need to write something down for a video because I know I'll forget it, I just write it all down so I don't forget. I also write down my progress that I'm making, any thoughts and ideas that I have for future sort of Instagram posts or anything like that. It's just, it's been a lifesaver for me. So if anyone else on YouTube is feeling a bit cluttered in their head or if anyone is looking to start YouTube, I definitely recommend getting one of these. From Sainsbury's, Wilco, WH Smith, they're just, they keep everything so organized and over the summer, it has helped me obviously build my YouTube channel and be a lot more organized and a lot less hectic around it. So yeah, definitely recommend one of those. And then we are gonna move on to obviously my favorite part, which is cosmetics. I think I will start with hair care because I've only got one thing, which is the Aussie dry shampoo wash and blow in a can in a cool kiwi berry flavor. It says, an untraceable root reboot. It reboots the roots with this very beautiful, light and untraceable quick fix and it just comes in a can like this. You get 180 ml or 120 grams and it is literally just a dry shampoo. I stopped using Batiste quite a long time ago because it left um, sort of like the grey white dandruffy residue in my hair. But as I have extensions and I'm not allowed to wash them very often, but my hair naturally still becomes a little bit greasy. This has been a lifesaver. It mattifies my hair and stops it being greasy, but then it also leaves it smelling like berries and kiwi, obviously. And yeah, I just love it. It's definitely been a lifesaver, especially <laughs> during this heat wave when my scalp with all this hair has been sweating. So yeah, definite summer favorite of mine. The next thing, that isn't technically cosmetics is the new body spray that I have been using. It's part of the new Impulse range. I have actually bought all of them as far as I know. I've got the purple one, the sort of lilac-y blue one, the green one, and then the pink one. This is by far my favorite. This is the Burnt Marshmallow and Leather Jacket Body Mist. It's just, it genuinely smells like marshmallows and a fresh like newly bought leather jacket and it's just the nicest smell I don't know why it's just a really good combination but it's super sweet and super summery and it has definitely been my go-to body spray when I feel like I need a little bit of a freshen up if I'm feeling a bit sweaty and yeah just beautiful smell and then my favorite part we get to move on to my favorite makeup for the summer months my major lifesaver over the summer months has been the Witch Naturally Clear with Witch Hazel Extract Blemish Gel. Um, I picked this up purely on a whim a few months ago from Sainsbury's. It was on sale in our pharmacy department and everyone was telling me that it was usually about £10 and I managed to get it for about, I think, two. <laughs> and it just, it says, dissolves excess oils and clears up pores and gets to work instantly, which I can definitely say it does. I get quite oily around the sides of my nose and my top lip and sort of in between my eyebrows, basically my T-zone without my forehead. Yeah, it just really sorted me out and it's definitely been a lifesaver, obviously, where facial oils become a little bit more prominent in the summer months, obviously due to sweat and losing all the powder on your face. No matter how many times I set my face at the start of the summer, all of my oiliness would come through within about two to three hours. But after using this, it's definitely made it more like six to seven hours. So any of you girls out there with oily skin, I definitely recommend using this the evening before you're gonna put makeup on, just sometimes every night for me. Just put it on every night before you go to bed, you'll wake up, put your makeup on, and you'll be able to keep it in all of your oily places for a lot longer without it looking greasy. The next one is another skin slash primer product and it is from 
if I can find the thing. The Abnormal Beauty Company. Um, my sister-in-law actually helped me discover this or she introduced me to it. It is a very, very small shop that we found in, I'm just gonna say London, I had no idea where we went. But it is their primer. They do a lot of skincare products, but as I was sort of new to the shop, I didn't wanna try anything too drastic. They had a lot of sort of hydro hydrochloric acid drops and sort of stuff around those lines like the new revolution skincare range that's just come out but i just thought i would start out with their primer it says high adherence silicone primer blurring a surface smoother and primes skin ready for makeup application. I wouldn't say it's a mattifying primer, but it definitely leaves your skin looking less oily than some of the other primers I've used that have spent a lot more money on. This, I think, was only around eight pound, and you get one fluid ounce in there, which I think is decent. For anyone that doesn't know ounces, it's 30 mil. I bought two because I fell in love with it that much. I literally rubbed it on my hand in the shop and I loved it, so. It's definitely one of the ones where it feels really, really lightweight. It definitely leaves your skin feeling very tacky, so your makeup sticks for so much longer in the sun. It doesn't leave you oily, but it just gives a really glowy, summery look whenever you're applying makeup. So I definitely recommend this. Even if you don't want to use it in the summer and you just want to use it for a glowy look in the autumn, it is still a really good product, so for that price, I definitely recommend for that. The next one, again, is for my skin. I've just been loving skin products recently, and I made a very big purchase, which is unlike me. Not. And I actually bought the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. I own one MAC lip liner and one full size lipstick in Velvet Teddy and then I just recently at the same time that I bought this bought the mini version of Chili. I've seen every beauty guru under the sun rave about the Fix Plus. Everyone's saying how refreshing it is, how it doesn't smell chemically, how it just, it fixes everybody's problems so I had to get it and I've never looked back. I literally use it every single day just open the box for you. You do get a decent sized product considering how much you pay for it. I've used it every day and it's only used about an inch worth and you've got a lock on it so it's really easy to use obviously when you're out and about. You just spray it. It's just so refreshing. I even use this when I haven't got makeup on just to spray my face with just to cool me down because I can't describe what it smells like cucumber water and flowers just on your face but it's really cold and really refreshing and yeah it's just it's one of the most expensive things I've ever bought obviously it being MAC but I haven't looked back it's just it's a lifesaver in the summer the next thing I want to talk about is another sort of high-end item for some of you which are benefit products the goof <laughs> The Goof Proof Brow Pencil and the 24 Hour Brow Setter. I mentioned this in my everyday makeup bag video. These, I got the same time as I bought my MAC Fix Plus and I haven't looked back. I use these on my eyebrows every single day. I think I showed you in the video that it came in a set with stencils and a pencil highlighter, but if all else fails, these two are always in my makeup bag. One side is obviously the little tip, and then on the other side is just a little spoolie. This is my go-to, obviously. And then the 24-hour brow setter just means that when I'm getting all hot and sweaty and my forehead is literally drenched, it means my eyebrows still stay in place. It's got long bristles on one side and short bristles on the other. There is quite a lot of product in the brow setter, so I definitely think that I'll have to repurchase this before I have to repurchase this. But yeah, they've been brow favourites of mine for the past few months and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. We're coming near the end. I've got three things left to show you and the next thing is actually a Primark product, which is the PS Instagirl Max Colour Lip Plumping Gloss, which is an intense colour, high shine finish, which plumps your pout. I have quite naturally big lips anyway. However, the colour that these lipsticks come in are just gorgeous. I've owned about, 
I'd say three or four now. I've got from neutral nudes to really, really bright reds and dark sort of plum colours. Basically, any shade that I need for any season in this year, I've got it. It's not a stupidly advanced plumping gloss. I have got the... So I think is it Soap and Glory? I think it's Soap and Glory. The XXL Plumping Gloss, which genuinely feels like bees are stinging you. That I don't use anymore. It's just, I don't want to say it's too uncomfortable, but it's just not worth it. Whereas this, you get your lipstick and you get a little bit of plump and plumping in your lips as well. And yeah, it's just, it's a good one. <sighs> And the last makeup product I want to show you is the Revolution Quads Highlight Palette. I got the gold one, which I think is the lighter shade. It's obviously got the mirror at the top, and then these are the shades. I just, I showed you this in my makeup bag video as well, but I can't stop raving on about it. I have swatched the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I do not own it, and I'm glad I never bought it because Ever since this bad boy has come out, I don't think I've looked back. It is just a gorgeous palette. As much as I do not use the dark pink, I use the other three pretty much every day. They just have a lovely payoff on your skin and they are just blinding, which obviously is what I look for in a highlighter. <laughs> and definitely this gold one or the pink one, when you have a super glowy look in the summer and the sun catches that highlight, it's just, it's the perfect summer highlighter palette. Well, it's the perfect highlighter palette full stop, but I bought this in the summer, so that's why it's in my summer favorites. <laughs> and then last but not least is one more primer product, but it is quite a big one, which is my mirror that I bought. It has got a normal side mirror on this side, and then it's got a magnified mirror on the other side. I got it in this pink color, just because, I wanted to be a little bit extra and silver was a bit too boring for me. It has got a light at the bottom. I don't know if it will come up because my ring light's so bright, but you just flick it on and it just gives a little bit more illumination when you're trying to do your makeup. It's been a game changer. So that is why it is made into my summer favorites as well. Again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to get notifications every time I upload, hit the bell button as well. If you'd like to see more monthly favorites or just general season favorites, then be sure to either leave me a like or comment down below and I'll definitely see you in the next video. Bye.